Welcome back to Studio 5. A Utah mom is warning other parents about a scary situation that happened recently when someone hacked into her baby monitor. Isabel Baker posted her experience on Instagram. It quickly went viral. Her three-year-old son was acting out, having night terrors. She says she thought it might have been from scary movies until she heard a strange voice coming from his room through the baby monitor and realized it had been hacked. In today's Tech Check, it's a scary story, one we can all learn from. Desert News columnist Amy Iverson is sharing tips today to keep this from happening in your own home. Amy, this was like a whoa, a, a wow. Didn't even know this was a, a thing in some sense. How big of an issue is this? Well, Isabel herself said that her DMs were overwhelmed with messages a lot from people saying similar things had happened. Mm. I'm not sure what version of camera Isabel was using, but the wise camera she was using, version one, was discontinued in January. The company's letting customers know it wouldn't be receiving security updates. And so just know that any smart home device, your doorbell camera, your baby monitor, anything has the potential to be hacked. How do they gain access? How does a stranger gain access to like a baby monitor, for example? Well, actually, you can't put all the blame on the baby monitor because the way they get in is through your home router. So mm. that's where we need to focus, making sure that your home Wi-Fi router is secure. And it's something I think a lot of people don't think about right. very often, but too. Well, I've had the same password at our home as I know it for, I think, five years. You say those regular <laughs> password rotations, that's key? Yeah, and, and your router's going to have two passwords. So one that manages the settings, one that connects other devices to the network. That's the one you're talking about. Okay. You need to change those from the default, make them long, make them complicated. Make sure you don't hand them out to the whole world. And if you do, change them. And even if you don't, you need to change those every few months. Every Send a few reminder. months. Noted. Noted. You want us to update our firmware? I'm sorry. What is firmware? So that's what makes it run. That tells it what to do. That's where you get those security updates. And Isabel herself said she realized her firmware was not updated on her router. So you have to do that. Newer app, newer routers make it easy through an app. Older ones takes a little more work. I have details in the column of how to do that. But again, that needs to be happening every few months automatically if you can. And if you can't, and if you notice your company's not sending new updates, you need to get a new router. You want us to change or hide our Wi-Fi network name. How do I, can I hide it all together? You can with some routers. It just depends. So what I'm saying is it comes with a default name, your network. You know, that's the thing that pops up when your phone's by and it says, hey, you want to join these networks? Yeah. But sometimes it will have details about what kind of router you have in that default name. So you don't want to leave it with that and make it easy. Definitely change it. And then if your router gives you the possibility, hide it altogether. Really, you don't need people wondering, oh, can I join this yeah. network? Yeah. You don't need to do that. You can type it in the few instances where you need to. Any other steps, Amy, you encourage us to take to secure our devices? Well, just the last one is just to keep that camera private. So I know a lot of people like to um, let their nannies or maybe grandparents peek in on it once in a while. But anytime you don't know if that person's device is hooked to a secure network, you're opening a window to routers. Mm -hmm. So again, just don't hand that out to everyone. Do you really need to check it while you're at dinner? Only yeah. check it when you're on your secure network at home. And then again, with all devices, baby monitor or anything, strong passwords, two-factor authentication, all those things that are kind of a pain, but yeah. keep us safe. Yeah, as and important to pay attention to as this story proves. Amy, thank you. Where can we read your column in detail? Yeah, I have all the details on this at Deseret.com slash Amy. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks, Brooke.